What up, what up, what up? It's your boy G Money in the building out here. Lights on. Drop that beat. Soak it in, soak it in. G Money is back. I ain't got no baby next to me. Let's get rowdy out this bitch. Hey, Let's go. what up, Jay? What's happening, big homie? How you feeling? Feeling good, feeling good out here, man. Again, shout out to 613 Fade Productions. Find us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, whatever you want. We on there. Facebook, the Man Cave Sports Podcast Facebook group. Join us. Let's get chatty out this J man. You find me at G Money Caveman on Twitter. Tell us, tell us where you find you, Jay. Jay Jones on all social media platforms. That's TikTok. That's Facebook. That's Twitter, and that's IG. Come holler at me, man. I'm always ranting about something. Hell you know, yeah, hell yeah, hey. I'm, you gonna hear me this week. I'm loud. I, you know, I ain't got, I ain't got whisper into the mic no more. You know, so let's let's get. get it went from the thing. from the day kid to the man cave, back to the man cave. The man cave is back. Yeah. Yeah. Go. So how how your week been doing, man? My week's been a little while. You know, Christmas is coming up. We about two weeks from Christmas. Shit. How, how that Christmas shopping going for you, man? I'm gonna be honest with you, G. Um, I got my most of my Christmas shopping out of the way. Or oh, I should say my wife got most of our Christmas shopping out of the way. I'm not going to sit here and stunt to you. Uh, she, <laughs> she, uh, she did. She, she actually started Christmas shopping in a little early, like maybe like a week or so before Thanksgiving. And then kind of, of course, you know, play things by ear, see what's going on, you know, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Mondays, and, you know, picked a few gifts up right there. So, I'm not too bad. I'm doing pretty good on the gifts, but the problem is I ain't I ain't got the tree up yet, so I ain't got shit to put the gifts up under. Oh, that was so, my next question. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so hey. hopefully, hopefully this weekend um, I get that opportunity to put the tree up, and you know what I'm saying we all get to decorate it and all things right. like that. Man, it's been right. a hell of a hey, week. Fake, fake tree or real tree? You got? Oh, I got a fake one this year. Fake one? Okay, I ain't gonna lie okay. to you, man. You know, and I, it, it hurt my heart because I, I, I'm really a, traditionally I like to get the go out, get the tree, and all that. That should be leaving a mess after a while, man. And that's just it, like it does. I'm does. paying eighty dollars, fifty, eighty dollars for a tree that's gonna be here two to. Th- I understand. The, I understand now, so I'm, I'm not too, I'm not too upset about it. Yeah, I got. I, we, we, we've been sucking into the real tree the last three years. I want to say. It's a, it's, a, it's a family tradition now. You know, we got to go out there, joint, cut it. Uh, this year, this year we, 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 my, my boy is down there, 16, he's cutting it. He's like, yo, we call the chainsaw dude in. He's like, yo, just, just, just <laughs> chop this thing up for us real quick. This little saw ain't doing it right now. Yeah, man. Like, it's it's like you want to stick to the traditional things, but it's like the energy. I mean, if you got the energy and, the t- you know, the time and everything to do that, hey, continue. But, you know, for me, like right now, the timing has been 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 real tough lately. So, yeah, hey, I can dig it. Hey, shout out to the wives that early shot for us, us guys. Hey. Shout out to them, all of y'all out there. Real MVPs. What about you, G? You got all the gifts, man? With oh you? hell no, nah, man. Amazon better come clutch with this one day shipping <laughs> shit real quick. I'll be honest. Like we got we got a couple things. We got a couple things out the way, but we yeah. we way back in the game. We got but. The, we got the Christmas tree up and that's decorations up. Hey, I just started. Right. So that part is done. Now we gotta get to the get to the magic part too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely magic. Yeah, we I kind of learned our lesson off that, like not last year, but of course with the pandemic, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was ordering gifts. So it was like, oh, yeah. you know, the shipping was was crazy. So we tried to get ahead and learn from learn our lessons from that from the years prior. So yeah. Here we hey, are. We say, number numbers wise, guy, you know me. We say the average person this year is spending eight hundred to nine fifty on gifts. It's 
under that Christmas tree. It's disrespectful. Hey, y'all better believe it, Santa. Y'all better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me coming out like, of nowhere. Man, geez. I didn't. I, is that like per or is that that's just like that's a good question. That, is it, that just says what the average family spent is, so it, right. it must not be per kid. It can't that's be per, per kid. kid, yeah. Ooh, yeah, because I was about to say I got two. And <laughs> that even that though be, they yeah, that's yeah, we yeah. <laughs> Yo, hey, we just want to get give y'all a little Christmas spirit, get in the mood, y'all get in the mood, but yes, let's sir. Get into some sports spirit now. Off the top, speaking about spending money, you know, speaking about spending Christmas money, San Francisco Giants spent a lot of Christmas money, we'll say, on their new acquisition, Carlos Correa, for 13 years, $350 million. Bad drop, hey, bad drop. Is he worth it? Is, is um, this the guy you go after? Um, Yeah, I, I mean, he's, he's, for me... Um, I just, I worry about the years, the length of the years on the contract. Like he's, he's already played eight seasons. Um, and now you're giving him a 13 year contract. So that's about what, 20, 21 years total of, uh, playing baseball. I mean, he's definitely talent wise. Yes. He's definitely, he's definitely that guy. He's definitely, I mean, I'm not going to say what he's worth or not worth, but I'm not mad that he got that back, but, um, you know, I just worry about his durability. You know what I'm saying? He plays shortstop. You know, at the moment, are they going to be able to move him over to third base to kind of keep him a little fresh throughout this contract? You know, um, also, um, you know, they, they got another shortstop in Brandon Crawford. You know what I'm saying? So and he's yeah. there for another year. So what happens with him? But uh, it's definitely a good move for the Giants. They needed, they wanted a, uh, they wanted a cornerstone piece, and uh, they wanted a, a um, what am I trying to say? They wanted that face of the franchise, franchise. as they say, yeah. and they and they got him. They got him. So we going we we they got to build around them, and that's not it. They got to build around them, and they got some holes to fill. So yeah. I ain't I mean, mad at it. He said he signed a prove it deal last year with the Twins. Had had one of his best seasons out there and he bet on himself like Aaron Judge did and it's paying to bet on yourself nowadays, especially in the MLB. Good yeah, job. I, now, I was kind of confused on why Minnesota put in his contract the option to opt out. Like I was, I was surprised about that. Like, and he had it for all three years that he signed, but. I tell you, once he, once he saw Trey Turner's deal go down, once yeah. he, once he saw Aaron Judge deal go down, all these people getting paid, he's like, yo, um, yes, I'm please. Out. Yeah, I'm <laughs> out. Holla. I, I ain't mad at him at all. Definitely right? at all. Uh, like his, bag. his numbers, I, I, I don't agree with the amount. He's getting paid like Aaron Judge, Trey Turner. His his no, that, that was his best season and one of his most durable seasons, too, last year. Yeah. And he's only hitting 22 home runs for you. 70 runs, 61 R, 64 RBIs. Like, that's not that's not something that is worth that much for me. But defensive wise, he's he's a gold glover. I so I platinum go platinum platinum glove winner at that. Platinum. platinum. Yeah, I, I mean that's that's today's price, man. Like you said, uh, you know his numbers may not warrant that, but I feel like in San Francisco, it's more of a hitter's park for like he. I think his numbers will probably go up a little bit more. And Angie, you got to remember the shift. The shift is not going to be. Uh, they're taking a the shift off next year too. So his numbers will probably be. You know, got a chance to get get a lot better. Uh, you know, and I think I, I think it's actually. I think them getting Carlos Correa was better than them getting Aaron Judge. Like Ooh. that's just. And it's and <laughs> I, I say that because Aaron Judge is more of a is like a home run hitter. You know what I'm saying? Like. He, of course, he's, he gets other hits, but he's known for his home run hitting abilities. And that park in San Francisco is not friendly for home runs. Now, I'm not saying that Aaron Judge can't hit him. Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds enjoyed that park pretty well, right? Yeah, <laughs> but he went, he wasn't there the whole time. And said, like when he was, when he got to San Francisco, did they? I don't, I can't remember if he had that park the whole time he was in San Francisco. But I don't know. I just. 
I don't know. I think Correa will do. I think he'll be better. I just hope okay. he can stay healthy. Hey, he's got 13 years to prove it. Shit. You know? <laughs> Hell yeah, he's got hey, Sliding off to another subject, another yeah. sport. Speaking about health, though, the mellow ball comes back to the court. Comes back to yeah. the Charlotte Hornets. They, they don't get a win. And the Charlotte Hornets, I guess, still <laughs> one, the, the recent ones. So what do you what do you what do you think of LaMelo Ball being back? Is he is he gonna turn it around for Charlotte or what do you think? I, I mean, he gives them a better shot with him on the court than not being on the court. I mean, you know, he's definitely a great talent, you know. Um, I don't know, you know, they're always hanging around that, you know. 10th, 9th, 10th play-in spot in the playoffs. I think they will they might be around that area come the end of the year, depending on his health again. But, um, you know, him being back definitely helps them. They'll definitely get some wins and uh, probably get some more of those fans in the stands with him being back. And uh, hopefully Charlotte can can generate some Ws for him, man. Yeah, Char- Charlotte Charlotte is sitting dead last right now in, <laughs> in the Eastern Conference. Ooh. They're sitting at 7 and 21. Oh. Now, I I t- I tell you this. Record with LaMelo Ball, they're 63 and 66. Record without LaMelo LaMelo Ball, they're 10 and 11. It's a smaller sample size, but they're both still losing records. So, yeah, but I mean, I love LaMelo Ball. Don't you know, he he's an electric player. But is he is he is he an actual difference maker for the team? Like, I mean, he gonna make that team better? Or now, don't get me wrong, they haven't always had the players there either. I was so, gonna say, you you now, know, you, you can only cast nowadays in the NBA. You can only do so much individually. You know what I'm saying in today's NBA. But I mean, he he he'll definitely help them out. You know, I think when they came back, they lost to who the Pistons or something like that in overtime. Yeah, it was the Pistons. So I mean, that's a game they probably normally win had he been on the floor. You know, and not just that was his first game back. But I mean, you know, still no excuses. But I feel like the next time they'll win a game like that. You know what I'm saying? But okay. I mean, they fun to watch. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna get the win, but they fun to watch. I agree. I agree with that. Like that's like when I think of point guard, I think they are difference makers. So he should be producing more wins than losses. I feel like if he's if he's gonna be that quote unquote star, like John Moran's a point guard, he 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 turned that Memphis team around. You can't be saying that he's surrounded with crazy talent. I feel like, right? No, but they 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 grew their talent though. Like. Jaron Jackson was 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 good. He was already a pretty solid piece. And they Desmond Bain. Um and and what's my other guy's name? Um not Desmond Bain. It's the other guy, Dylan Brooks. Dylan, Dylan Brooks, Brooks was 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 a solid piece right there as well. So yeah, adding a piece like John Morant definitely, definitely helps. But you gotta remember Charlotte also lost what's uh PJ Washington. Um you know, for his off the court issues, the domestic violent issues. So you take a piece like that away from Lamelo. Uh, not, 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 not PJ. Was it PJ? Uh, the the brother, twin, the twin brother, Bridges. Bridges, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bridges. They lost. What is it, Miles? Miles Bridges, right? Yeah, yeah. One I, of the. I would, yeah. I, would, I would definitely. I don't want to say his name because I'm gonna get that wrong. <laughs> yeah, but it was so they lost Bridges. I'm sorry, not PJ Washington, but they lost Bridges. You know, which was a huge, which was a huge piece for them. You know what I'm saying? They were actually getting ready to give him like a really large contract until he had his off the court issues. So, I mean, you lose him, then LaMelo's out for a while, you know, you where you at. So, um, give him, some, give him, I give him a little, a couple more years. I give him about, you know, two, three years, uh, another two years. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I mean, but. You're putting you on notice down there, LaMelo and Charlotte. Nah, hey. I mean, I, hey. I mean, personally, I don't think, Le- I, I think. LaMelo is going to leave Charlotte if they don't build something because, I mean, MJ ain't really been the best at constructing teams, to be honest with you. So I think MJ, uh, I think LaMelo's uh, personality is bigger. You know, he wants to be in a big market city. So unless they, unless they're winning some games and they get some talent around them, I think LaMelo is going to, uh, going to be out of Charlotte when his contract is up. All right. I will say this for, for LaMelo. He averaged five more points a game with him on the court than without him on the court. But I know he averages more than five just points. Five? So that don't make sense, right? Right? You know? Just five? 
That, that, ain't, that ain't that great. So, LaMelo, what are you going to notice down there in Charlotte? Jay giving you three years. We're going to see what you can do two. down there. Yeah, I'm giving you two to two to three. Two to three. Based on your GM owners, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, I feel like we added some talent around him, but maybe it's, maybe it's not enough for him. Speaking of talent, <laughs> got talent. You're going to be on the field. You're going to be on the court. So, I am guess I'm saying, you know, hey, Shot at the Titans here. Y'all drafted this cat, Marcus Mariota. He, he, Man, we talked about him getting time. benched, but he went his, beyond that. <laughs> his situation is crazy. I, I was I was just trying to read up on it, and um, he got benched. But then I thought he had a knee injury of some sort, and then they said he left the team because he had a baby or some shit like that. Doing oh, it so, and then they were like, they don't even know if he's coming back, and I was like, yeah, that's uncharacteristic to me. Um, with Marcus Mariota, it's it's I don't it's something else that got to be going on behind the scenes. Arthur Smith, who came from Tennessee, um, he was there when Mariota was there, so they have a pretty good, what I thought, you know, uh, relationship. So. I mean, I don't want to say this in a negative way, but Marcus Mariota, this ain't the first time he's been benched. You know what I'm saying? So he got benched before he left Tennessee. And, I mean, he had to know when they drafted um, Ryder, the quarterback, like he wasn't going to be around but too much longer. So I don't know. Maybe he thought he was going to finish the year, get some incentives. I don't know. But it's a strange situation. I'm I'm interested to hear see how this plays out. Like, that's not yeah. like, from what I remember him in, in Tennessee, like on the camera, that, that didn't seem to fit his personality. Yeah. So if you don't know, Marcus Mariota, he got benched the previous week, but then sources say there's a bunch of different sources, this sources that we ain't got, we ain't, we ain't got behind the scene pass like that, making me getting these questions answered for us. But, I do, I do, I do. You know, I got you a few. Got, I got a few. You, you got, you got, you got a slip in the back door type thing. Just, okay. just a few. All right, inside information over there. But he he's left the team, and he is no longer a part of this team right now. They're saying that he, they put him they put him on IR. They can waive him. He and he'll get released pretty much because like, damn, he's not even he's not even part of the team. So when a wall just said fuck it, like yeah, that's that's. Wow. The, I mean, that's, you do that kind of hey. I guess he did a. It was better he did it off the field than on the field, like Antonio Brown, right? And hey, just take I mean, out of peace. <laughs> like that's just that's real weird to me, man. And I I didn't even think that I didn't even know they had the option to put him on IR because he wasn't hurt. Yeah. Like I mean, I man, that shit's weird to me, man. Like when I read it, I was like, really, Mariota? Like chunking the deuces like that like something had yeah. to go down like it's it something i ain't got to... some, some other information we yeah, don't know about something went down bro like he's like the most mild mannered like player like that like that i can that i know of like i was rooting for mariota even while he was in atlanta like that's just shocking when, when you make it when you make an exit out of a party jay you go out like mariota you go out like antonio brown Man, you know, I just got to keep a cool, calm, and collective, man. I'm just out, man. I, don't, I ain't trying to make no scene, man. I, I Nah, I'm, I'm just exiting like Mariota. I might just back okay. door you. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm uh, the back door, bro. Slide on, exiting, exiting. There's some teams that they're exiting out the World Cup, but they're still part of it playing for third place right now. So if you don't know World Cup's been going on, or if you don't know, you definitely missed it, missed, missed it. This the signs on the wall, everything. This has been a great freaking World Cup this year. It's been absolutely amazing. We got yeah. Argentina going up against France in the finals. Argentina beat Croatia in the semifinals, and France beat Morocco. Let's let's start with Argentina and Croatia and how Argentina got there. What you t- tell us about that? What you, what you think about who did you like that game and stuff like that? Well, I wanted, um, I, I wanted to see, um, I know, I think it was last show with Mara, um, I wanted to see France and Argentina, and both teams got there. Argentina, I mean, I, I did think both games were going to be a little bit closer. I thought the defenses were going to be a little bit, you know, because both teams were known for their defense. So, uh, Croatia gave up three, um, three goals, which was kind of like real, real surprising. Um, but you got to give 
credit to Argentina's offense, to their team. They um, they definitely want to get Messi to the World Cup and for him to win it. So, um, you know, uh, shout out to Argentina. You know, they, they got it done and, and then they played defense. I mean, Croatia had some some opportunities, but they didn't they, they kept it clean. No goal, no nothing. So I, I was kind of shocked. I thought it would have been like a two one kind of game. Um, same with France and Morocco. But, um, you know, Morocco actually had a lot of opportunities to score. Um, so, you know, I, I, I like Morocco. And like I said before, I had them as like a Cinderella team. But, you know, this is kind of like where I had them, like the run ending. But they still had a lot of chances to beat France. France escaped that game, like, by the, by the um, skin of their teeth, though. Oh, yeah. So. Nah, it, like you said, it was both definitely good games. Messi, hey, Messi, Messi doing work. Messi's putting on a show for a show why he is the GOAT out of the soccer field, of the pitch, hey. as they say. Hey. Julian Alvarez scored two goals to put him up 3-0, and that was a wrap for it. Like you said, I, I, I thought Croatia's defense was going to show up a lot more. He, he had hey. some opportunities as well, but Argentina no just put it, put it down on him. Like, he, he didn't dominate possession or nothing, but he had the most shots on target, and you put put the ball near near the goal. Chances are it's gonna go in the way he kicked that thing. <laughs> man, so now now we got France and Argentina, man. Who 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 you like, man? Man, I tell I tell you what, France France really showed me something last game going against Morocco. Like you said, that's the dude. That was the, wall, the great red wall of defense type joint. Like, yeah, man. He didn't give up a single goal the whole whole World Cup, and France looked like. He just was having their way with their defense, and they could they could have had some more goals as well. France could have, yeah, they could have. Uh, Morocco, Morocco definitely should have should have had at least one goal that, that game. I feel like at least one goal. Yeah. But France could have had like three to five, even three to yeah. They could at least had. I thought they could have had four at least. It but. was he was he was there, and he had he definitely had the opportunities for for some more goals. Mbappe. He put he 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 looked more like that guy everybody's talking about. I'll say that this game. You haven't seen it. I haven't seen him because I watched a lot of it this year, this this cup, but I didn't see the same speed that I've seen from the pre the four years ago. I mean he's four years old, don't get me wrong, but that's why he, yeah. he is he's in Bobby. Like he's supposed to be the, the golden boot for this joint, possibly. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I see you there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Um yeah, and I was I was gonna say you too, man. Some you got some uh, some things to watch for as this World Cup finals match gets ready to take place. Um, you just mentioned it. Uh, Mbappe is golden, going for the Golden Boot. For those who don't know, the Golden Boot is for the top goal scorer in the World Cup. Um, he's tied though. He's tied with somebody. Oh you know, yeah, you you wanna know who he's tied with? He's tied with five goals, but who's he tied with? The guy he's going against, Messi. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm telling you this. You think Messi going to give him that world boot? No, sir. I'm going um, out on top. Messi hey, goes out on top of the world. Everybody take notice. Not I'll go up on top of the world, but I'm going out with the golden boot. Walk off into the sunset for the World Cup. And man, legacy be cemented. Dope. Yeah, man. It right. Well, right now, they say, my sources told me that um, Messi right now would edge out Mbappe because he has one more assist than Mbappe with three. So if they, if neither one of them were to score and it, it was down to those two, that's, you know, Messi would get the win or unless right. Mbappe has an assist on the goal. We're going we go, we go, we go to find out. We're going to find out this Sunday. You know, yeah, so you man. Got, make sure you got also... It. See who's who's supporting Cass gonna come through, man. I think both teams got a good supporting, got a good supporting, you know, Cass. Yeah, and, we, both, uh, we both got a Robin pretty much. Like right now, Robin, Robin for Argentina is Julian Alvarez. He's got yeah. four goals. And He's so, up for a golden boot too. He yep. he might get it too. If and he right has here, another two goal with yeah. France, we got Olivier, Olivia, Gerard. He's also got yeah. four goals. Yep, true indeed. So they both can they both have an opportunity to get the golden boot too if you know Messi and Mbappe don't score. 
So oh, yeah. it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch, man. Uh, the, whose defense is gonna hold up? Because both defenses have known to be, be a little shaky. So um, we interested to see who who's going who's going to win. You got a you got anybody? You got a prediction for this game, G? Man, you know Fr- France is back in it, so I I don't want them to win back to back. Honestly, so I'm I'm rooting for Argentina. I'm going for Argentina, but I'm I'm scared of France. I'm, I said because he showed me something last game, Mbappe, and he does that. He's dangerous, but let's go, Messi, Golden Boot, champs. Okay, who you going right. with? I'm going with France, man. I'm going with Ooh. France. Okay. I'm going with France, man. I want to see history made. I mean, I want to see Messi win too, most definitely. I, I mean, either way it goes, history is going to be made. Whether France wins back to back or Messi wins his first World Cup, um, I, of course, yeah, I want to see Messi win it, you know, and get the golden boot, go out riding the sunset. But for some reason, man, I, I feel like Mbappe wants to prove, like, out with the old and with the new, man. Like, and uh, he wants to say, changing "I am the, him." The tides, yeah, the like, torch. Like to beat the the arguable. Some people's arguable goat to beat him on the World Cup on it, like on that stage. I think yeah, I think the I think the younger might have that that dog in him. So we're gonna see, man. Yeah. Now, question: Are you, are you even interested in third place match? Croatia versus Morocco doesn't even matter. Who cares about third place? <laughs> who yeah, who? I mean, I, I mean, how Nelly say two is not a winner and three nobody remembers. I mean. Well, hey, that's, that's like fantasy football, man. Toilet yeah. bowl. Who cares about yeah. toilet bowl playoffs? Come on. Yeah, come on, third. I yeah, mean, it, it's something it. It's something to watch, but I mean, I mean, how do you even prepare for that? Like, hey, guys, let's go out here and get this third place. I mean, like. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I guess it's better to come back with something than nothing, right? So, true. Especially on this stage, World Cup, you know. Yeah. The way, way they both went out, no goals scored in the semifinals. So, they're they looking to prove something. That's for sure. Yeah. But I'll watch. I think, did they play today? No, they didn't play today. Yeah, I think that um, semi, I think it's going to be on Saturday, I want to say. Mm. I think it's on Saturday. Hey, if you listen to us, you might have missed it. If you listen to us, you might be able to catch it. I don't know what time Saturday, but. Yeah. World Cup finals tomorrow if you're listening to us on Sunday. Make sure y'all catch that. Yes, sir. Now, speaking about Sundays, what what, what plays on Sunday? Football. Football is back, but they playing on Saturday this week too, people. I was say, so they got some Saturday. Out. Watch out. Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, football season is in full effect, and every day is a holiday when football season is on. Yes, and you can now watch it on your mobile phones too. So if you're not in front of a TV, get one of them apps and, and get it cracking while you out there shopping with wifey or, or your girl, significant other, whoever. Hey, have that app and get it popping. Yes, sir. Hey, Jay's putting out putting out a sponsor for us. NFL, NFL, whatever you call that, Jay. On the NFL app. Plus, NFL, NFL Plus. Plus on the app. Holler at us. We'll put we'll, we'll put you, we'll put people on. Hey, no. I got it myself. So come on, man. Holler at me, NFL Plus, man. You know, I know y'all trying to make a deal with the Sunday ticket as well. At, you know, holler at us, man. We can, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. Yes, so, sir. Speaking about making things happen, we want to be in the playoffs for football. We got it's seven, seven teams get in in the playoffs now. It's not six like it used to be. So it's seven, seven teams are in the playoffs. You want to go AFC or NFC first? Where do you want to go? I'm gonna go with the AFC first, right? AFC, all right. Right now in the playoffs, if if the day if the season ended, we got Buffalo Bills. This is going down from top to bottom of the seeds, pretty much. Buffalo, Kansas City, Baltimore, and we got Tennessee Titans, Cincinnati Bengals, Dolphins, and the Patriots in at number seven. Yes, I'm trying and to figure out who's out. I was trying to figure out how did Buffalo get the number one seed over Kansas City. Didn't Kansas City beat Buffalo? It's based on a head-to-head win percentage. Head-to-head win percentage. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, All right. So, for me, we, you know, we all, we both kind of know Buffalo and Kansas City are going to get in, right? So, it's just a matter of what seed they fall in, whether it be one or two, right? So, for me... Things get a little shaky at number three, right? 
Um, we reported last week that Lamar was injured. Lamar Jackson is hurt, right? Um, we don't know he's when he's coming back. Yeah, so we don't know when he's coming back. I'm assuming um, that he's going to be out for Sunday's game. He, they got he's, the, he's out for Sunday's game already. Okay, so he's they got Cleveland. That's a, a toss-up game. I mean, you know, Lamar, I mean, you know. So long story short, I don't think the Ravens are going to make it. Okay, okay. I don't think the Ravens are going to make it. Um, Tennessee, I don't think Tennessee is going to make it. Ooh, okay. See, I, um, I, I, I got, I, y'all, I think y'all are in because of your division. Nah, I, I actually think, I think Jackson, but I, I'm going to explain that one too. Okay. Um, so, okay. I'll explain it now. So Tennessee, we got the chargers this week, right? We do shitty out West regardless um, the Chargers are hot. They're a really good team. They got a lot of their pieces back offensively. Tennessee got their heart snatched. Um, you know, so looking at the rest of the schedule, they got the Texans. They should win that one. We got your Cowboys. G, y'all come into town. I don't really foresee us winning that game unless we get some players back from injury or something happens or unless y'all lose somebody. And then I think it's going to come down to the game against Jacksonville and it's in Jacksonville. And I honestly don't, this Tennessee team that I see, I just don't, I don't believe in them right now. Um, I, I really think they got their heart snatched and they're trying to figure it out too many injuries as well. So Tennessee, y'all got to prove it to me. I, of course I want y'all in, but the way y'all are playing, I don't have y'all in right now. So um, I actually got Jacksonville in right now. Um, so you got, you got your team going out and Jacksonville coming in. I hate it. I hate it. Oh my it. gosh. Are you even a fan, Jay? Jeez. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm a realist though, man. Like, I, I mean, I look at my team, man. Jacksonville just came into Nashville and thumped this, bro. Like, um, like it's crazy. I'm not used to it, but as I said before, you know, this team is this Jacksonville team is is on a rise, man. Like they they got a they, they got some talent and they're well coached right now. So um, you know, I, I just don't Tennessee hasn't showed me nothing, man. We've got smacked the last two out of three games. We've lost the last three yeah. games, and now we're going on a road where we're we've been shitty on the West Coast for a long period of time. So Tennessee, saying, y'all gotta prove it. All right, so you're saying Jacksonville gets over Tennessee. Who takes the Ravens spot? Cincinnati. Cincinnati's going to win a division. Well, Cincinnati's Cincinnati. th- already in. Yeah, they're in. But see, Cincinnati, but see, the Ravens are, are the, the AFC North division winners right now. Okay, but, so you're saying the Ravens still stay in the playoffs, though? No, the Ravens going to be out. Okay. I got the, um, so this is who I got. I got Kansas City, Buffalo, Cincinnati, Jacksonville. Those are the division winners. And then I got the Chargers, Dolphins. I'm sorry. I do have the Ravens in. I got the Chargers, Dolphins, and Ravens in. They sneak okay. in. All right. So you got the Patriots out then. Patriots got the Patriots out. out. Yeah. You seen their schedule? I I, I have I have seen the schedule. <laughs> I have seen the schedule. That's what that, that's why I got them out as well. Yeah. They they out man. They get <laughs> well, than did. I, you know you you said you said the Ravens are out. Well, for, for no, I got them in. I got them in. They they the seventh spot. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. You're right. You're right. But for my prediction to be right, you know who I got out. <laughs> the Bengals are out. The Bengals. There's been calling this from a long time ago, folks, if you haven't been listening to the show. So I'm going to stick to it because the Bengals have – the Bengals' schedule ain't the best. These teams, they're, they're playing a playoff potential team. So the Bengals do what the Bengals have done previous seasons. And they come out knocking these teams out. They were, they were, my, my prediction is dead, and the whole league better take notice because they're in trouble again. Gee, but, it's okay. It's so I've been yeah. wrong plenty on here, bro. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know what, G, before we even move forward, I gotta I owe you an apology, right? Because earlier this week, I thought I was beating you in fantasy football and I was actually losing, and I ended up losing. G kicked me out of the playoffs in fantasy yes. football. And uh, he beat me by four. And I was wrong. I was wrong publicly. So I want to apologize to you, G, because I was wrong. So with that being said, it's okay if the Bengals make it in, bro. Like you. I, I, I accept your apology, Jay. I accept your apology. I appreciate that. I appreciate so, that. But I ain't apologizing to nobody. <laughs> we got the Bucks. We got the Patriots, the Bills. 
Bills and the Ravens. So I got the, yeah. I got the Bucks. Tom Brady is going to start coming, and I think I think this is where he turns it on against them. Patriots do Patriots things. He beat teams somehow or another, uh, and he ain't beating the Bills and the Ravens. So? You get them the last week of the season. That's going to determine. And I got the Ravens. If, if Lamar is back. <laughs> I got I got the I got it opposite. I got the Bengals beating the Bucks. I got them beating the uh the Patriots and the Bills, to be honest. I, I think they can hey. beat the Bills. Hey, that's but, what they're gonna have to do. That's what they have to have to do because like you said, the Chargers. I got the Chargers coming up for the air and yeah. popping up in there. They've been mm-hmm. playing hot. The defense is not turning around right now. If that happens, they're a dangerous team because they got the offense. For the Patriots, like you said, we we both got them out. You had you had you had um somebody else in, but I'm going with J E T S Jets Ooh. Jets Jets. So you got the Jets over the Dolphins? I I got I got the Dolphins staying in there. I got I got three teams from that division going. So I got I got Bengals out, and I got the Patriots out. Okay. So All I got right. the Jet I got the Jets, and because their schedule. Reads off like this. Lions, that's winnable this week. Jaguars, most definitely winnable. Seahawks, their defense, Geno Smith, ain't looking like Geno Smith was looking first half of the year when everybody wrote him off and he wasn't writing back. You know, so <laughs> people, people start writing to him and he better start listening. because And he got the Dolphins final week of the season. Yeah. So we've already beat the Dolphins. They got they got mm-hmm. a chance there. They can they can. I'm a believer of you guys, with Big Green over there, Jets. All right, okay, all right. We we go. I I I. I wanted to keep the Ravens in there just because I didn't know when Lamar was coming back. I was like, once Lamar comes back, so I I kind of I'm kind of with you. Like the Jets, their schedule is favorable, but they're still the Jets. So I mean they got the yeah. talent, they got the coaching. The Mike White is out there doing his thing. Um, but we we gonna see though. I actually think, I mean, it, it's it's just which Jets team shows up, man. You know, which, which I mean, both of these teams, the Lions, the Jags, the Seahawks, like you you never know who's gonna show up that week. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I'm not gonna argue that. I'm I'm not gonna argue that. So you got the Bills, Chiefs, uh, Ravens, I still got the Titans. Titans in there. Okay, and you got uh the, then I, then the I got Chargers, the Chargers, Dolphins, Dolphins, and, and Jets. Okay, all right. Yep, that's in the so, AFC. And what, what? Let's go to the NFC then, my friend. Now the NFC is not as much fun. I feel like for me, it's it's not it's not as much fun. It's not as much. I don't think it's gonna happen because I I'm hoping people that are out of the playoffs stay out of the playoffs right now. When I when I see, say that, I th- I hope Green Bay stays out of the playoffs. That's who I do not want in there. The only team I see leaving, I don't see the NFC East getting all four teams in. I think it's going to be, it's going to come down it, this week coming up. This we got, week, we got the yeah. Commanders and the Giants. I think whoever wins this game is going to get in the playoffs. The other team is not going to make the playoffs, I feel. And so the, the team that gets winning? in. Oh, we're we'll talking about that next. Well, you're gonna kind of tell us based on who you who you got. The team, the team that get the team that gets in for one of those teams. I'm, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say which one. Don't get in up for those guys. But one of those teams is not getting in. The team that does get in, Detroit Lions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got that same pick out here. Oh, you talk, You got Detroit too. I got, the, I got Detroit too. Now the reason I the reason Detroit. I say Detroit is because I, I got them winning three of the next four games, and that's that's what that's what it's going to come down to for them. If they do that, I think they get in. The only t- the only team that I think they might lose to is the Jets this week. Then you got the Panthers, the Bears, Bears and, and the, the Packers, Packers. That, which we've already we've already beat. So you know, mm-hmm. it, it will be yeah. a land, but that'll be tougher. But yeah. Um, I got to kind of stay in the same too. Uh, I I have Philly Vikings, 49ers, Bucks, your Cowboys. Now I, I got the Lions and I had them at number seven. But, okay. but 
and this is going to sound bad because this team is, I don't know, man. I, I thought the Seahawks were going to be able to sneak in there, man. I, I thought the Seahawks and the Lions were going to get in and both commanders and the Giants were going to be out. But uh, Seattle's giving me doubts. So yeah. I'm going to go we're, ahead we're, and we're with, just them lose right now, too. Yeah. So, this week. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with, like you said, the winner of the Giants and the Commanders will most likely be the ones that get in. Because Seattle also, the way that I had it or the way that I envisioned it was Seattle would win against the 49ers. They would lose against Kansas City. And then they would beat the Jets and the Rams. That's kind of like how I saw it. Well, obviously, that hasn't played out. So I'm going to go ahead and change my prediction on the fly, and I'm going to go with the winner of the Giants Commanders. We'll get in at the number six seed, and the Lions will get in at the number seven seed. Okay. Damn it, G. We were supposed to disagree somewhere upon there. I I, I didn't think you was going to get the Lions in there, man. I I don't think anybody (laughs) thought we'd get the Lions. Let's be honest. Yeah. We're we're throwing throwing, throwing some names that you would not expect hearing, probably. But yeah, the, the Lions the numbers, bro, they have they really have a really good shot right now and they're playing really good. Yeah, it's crazy. And I mean they they got Jamison Williams back who caught a touchdown pass last week, right. and they got a pretty favorable schedule. Yeah, um, I think they to score points. Yeah, like, they're legit out there. The defense has got to step up a lot, definitely. But who would well, that, we talking about Jets and Lions? Week 14 right now. This is crazy. And playoffs in the same sentence. Like, we might be talking I mean, about Jets and Lions first pick in the draft, usually. Yeah. And I mean, shit. Players. And then, and then I even, even Jaguars. Like, we, I mean, like, I mean, all three of those were like first three picks in the draft. And then we're talking about possible playoff hunt. So, it's crazy. Yeah, man. I, we go, yeah. Ah, man. It's, it's going to be fun to watch coming down. And like you said, I mean, even this this Thursday night matchup with Seattle and San Francisco is a, is a huge game for Seattle. You know what I mean? I thought with Debo being out, you know, Brock on the road and, in, in you know, in Seattle, I thought Seattle would be able to get that. But their defense ain't changed, so. Nope. We'll, we'll see. 49ers defense is legit. Yeah, it's so. definitely fucking legit. So. But damn, yeah. we're, we're gonna see though, man. Uh, it's it's gonna it's gonna get real interesting, man. Real fun and interesting. Bengals stay at home on the couch watching these playoffs. They hot right now. <laughs> they 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 hotter than fish grease right now, man. I know they did. They just they just beat the Chiefs. So I mean, they're doing hey. what they they're doing what they did last year at the right time, and that's that's how teams that's how teams make runs. I won't I will not lie about that. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely, it's that time of the year. So, speaking of, so we got we got a guy, local cat here, you know, Washington Capitals player, Alex Ovechkin. If you don't know anything about hockey, Alex Ovechkin just scored his 800th goal on Tuesday, on Tuesday against the Blackhawks, and only two other people in the history of the hockey leagues have more than. 800 goals. Do you know Do you know the, the names? Oh, gee, man, you hurt my feelings, man. I know I don't look like a hockey guy. I'm all right. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm, you know, I watch all the games, but Gordie Howe and Wayne Gretzky, bro. Wayne Okay, you know? okay, okay. There we oh, go, there we go. You know, Wayne Gretzky got, he holds the, 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 the record for the most goals. That's who Alex is chasing right now. That's why he signed that that five year deal to come back with the Caps because he wants to catch him. You know what yes, I'm saying? And beat him and and, and yep. get the record. I should say can't beat him. Yep. So. And he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna make some money off this too. He just he just trademarked a nice yeah. little something called the Great Chase, and it's it'd be saying it's a triple triple entendre. Where it's give give a shout out to his nickname, the Great Eight. That's Alex Ovechkin. If you don't know Wayne Gretzky's mm-hmm. nickname, the Great One. And yes, he, sir. He, he really is the Great One. And then the chase of it all, you know, all time yeah. goals records. So the Great Chase. So you he, think you're gonna get it? Oh, oh man, you beat me to the punchline. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I yo, I I'm definitely gonna root for him to get it because he'll be 
a local cat from around here. And I'll tell you this, I will try to scoop them tickets somehow or another at one point because that's that's some that's some memorabilia right there for sure. Yeah, that and that's a memorable is, stuff. Even though hey, I, I'll tell you like this, I've been to hockey less fingers than I have on my hands in my lifetime. So I haven't been to many hockey games in my life. I've been to a few. Yeah. Nice. The last the last game I went to, the la- the the sh- the stadium shook. They came back, they beat the Islanders and like the stadium like literally fucking shook, bro. Like that joint was wild. Like it was crazy. So I'm like you. Um, I'm gonna be be rooting for Ovechkin. Um, you getting any? You getting any gear? You you, you gonna get any I, of that merch? I might. I, you know, I might. I might have to if, if I if I go to one of those games. I gotta rock one of the shirts or something, right? Yeah, man. Got to. Got to. It's the only way. Man. Yeah. So let's see. Let, I got. I got some 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 little notes on what Ovechkin's got to do to get there. He's currently at 800, right? And I believe he's in the second year of the five-year deal that he just re-signed. So the, my sources and math shows me that Ovechkin needs at least 33 goals. So he has 20 goals right now. So he, he needs at least another 13 goals right this year. And then he would probably need another... 30 plus the following year and another 30 the year after that to be able to catch Wayne Gretzky's and beat Wayne Gretzky's 894 goal. Is it 90? Yeah, 894 goal. So he's going to be tough, of course, because Alex Ovechkin is in his late 30s and father time, you know, that's, that's something else he's battling. You know, it, it shows that, you know, guys in their late 30s, those guys that we mentioned, Gordie Howe and Wayne Gretzky, when they were at 37, they don't, they didn't, I don't think they cracked 30 goals. I think they only hit, um, I think Ovech, uh, Howe hit 23 and Gretzky hit 29. Um, so, no, I'm sorry, Gordie Howe hit 29 and Ovech, and uh, Gretzky hit 23. So, you know, we're going to see as the years go by, if he can get, if now anything, he gets over 30, you know, if he gets 30 plus goals, I know one year he had 50 goals. So if he gets yeah. anything like last year, last yeah, year, last year. Goals. yeah. So if he gets anything like that, like, Hey, Hey, he, of course it makes him, it gets him closer to, to where he needs to go. So. Yeah. Hey, we, we root for you, Alex Ovechkin. Let's go. You can do this. We believe in you. Backstrom rooting keep, keep for you, hooking him up with them with them sweet assist or whatever. Yeah, yeah, man, we man, we gonna get some tickets and we gonna go, we gonna go to Cap One Arena and we are gonna be out there, man. We gonna we gonna Aye. podcast live from Capital One Arena. Aye. We gonna be there with the groundbreaking uh story when he breaks the uh when he when he scores that goal. Let's we that. we, we speaking that. into existence, um, Ovechkin. <laughs> we got you. We speaking into existence. So. Got some sad news, sad news coming up now. Former, well, Miss, Mississippi State head coach right now, former head coach Mike Leach passed away this past week on Tuesday from some heart heart complications that he's had in the past. He's he's always had or whatever. Um, what what do you what do you know about Mike Leach? What's what's your takeaway on him? Um, first and foremost, again, yeah, man, condolences to him and his family, his friends. Um, such a sad story. Um, and, you know, just kind of like, man, love your people, man. See your people, check on yeah. your people, man. Like, it's it's unfortunate. But uh, Mike Leach, of course, he's known for his, his air raid offense. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was the most winningest coach at Texas Tech. Um, with the Red Raiders, and he won, uh, I believe, a Coach of the Year award at Washington State. Um, so he he was respected, you know, of course, around the league, of, or around the college football, you know, realms. Um, you know, he got some coaches. He's got like a coaching tree as well. He's got Lincoln Riley, who came from, you know, his tree. Um, TCU's coach. Uh, Sony Dykes, as well as um, Arizona Cardinals coach Cliff Kingsbury, yeah. who he, also he played, played yeah, he played quarterback for him. So, uh, you know, he, you know, you just hate to hear it. You know, you hate to see it, man. 
Um, but he, he definitely won't be forgotten. But um, yeah, man, he, he definitely, it was like one day it was this, it went like so quick. Like it, it was like, you didn't really have a time. You didn't really have the time to kind of like really like catch the story because it was like Saturday, he was good. Then Sunday, he was airlifted from his home to a hospital. And then it was like Monday or Tuesday, he like passed away. Like that shit was like so sudden. So, you know, again, you know, outside of football, man, just, just, just check on your folks, man. Live your life, man. Like you never know when it's your time. Just, Hell yeah. you know, just, just check on your folks, live life, bro. Like to the best of your ability. Hey, hey, definitely sad news. Amen to that. Let, let the people around you, anybody you ain't seen in a while, call them, tell them you care about them. Somebody who's close to family every day, make sure you let them know. Go, go see them. Know. You know what I'm saying? It's holiday season, which makes it even worse. You know what I mean? So um, it's definitely tough. Also, Mike Mike Leach was known for, for upset. If his team wasn't ranked, um, he, led the, he led the nation with 18 um, – 18 wins against unranked uh, against ranked opponents when his team was unranked. So um, yeah, Mike Leach was definitely. Oh yeah, yeah, he has a record rec- record set in NBA, NBA, but NCAA <laughs> NCAA offenses. So he he yeah. broke his own record a couple of times, you know. So he knows what he's doing. And Kingsbury is quarterback, so side side story. I think that's why he be feeling some type of way. With with Kyler Murray, sometimes you know he's like, yeah, I used to put drop buckets, I drop dimes, like yeah, if I can drop dimes. You better be able to drop dimes, like yo, I don't mm-hmm. need to get out of here, do I, Kyler? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shit, he might have to get out there for Kyler right now, man. You know, since Kyler just went down, yeah. but um, definitely, That's definitely, is you know a sad story, man. Like you hate to hear it, you hate to see it, man. You hate to even talk about it, but you know. Definitely, man. Condolences to, to his fin- friends and family, most definitely. Let's so. let's hop on a, on a happier subject. Happier subject. Twist here. Let's talk about NBA basketball. We're talking basketball. Okay. It's, been, it's, been, it's been a good se- It's been a good season happening right now. You know. Um, let's talk about players that make this a great season. We're gonna t- bring okay. up your. T- I want to hear. Top five players in the league for this season, and you can take that how you want to take it. You could talk about the, the top five because of stats, what they're helping their team do, what how, whatever you want to take. You want to take it? Give me your top five players in the NBA this season. It's it's tough. I'll tell you that. I, I, I it's it's very seven. tough because it's, it's you're gonna high. leave some names out. You're gonna leave some names you're out. Gonna, you're gonna know. leave some names out, and it's gonna it's obviously it's gonna be arguable, right? Yep. Hey, this is what this is what you bring up. Bring up at a bar. You don't know the cat next to you. Hey, who you think best in the NBA? We could talk for hours about this. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with I right, right now. Ah, shit. Yeah. Um. All right. So I'm gonna go with this season. I'm this gonna go season. with Joe Joel and B. Right. Oh, he's already off mine. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Jason Tatum. Okay. I'm gonna go with Giannis. I'm gonna go with John Morant. And I'm going with Luca. Okay. I'm going with Luca. But I kind of I got like some like rural clothes. I got like Zion right there, but he's been hurt. You know, he's been I don't want to say he's been hurt. They've been kind of like monitoring him. Like he hasn't been hurt. They've been kind of monitoring. Him. Um, yeah, I like shit. Don't be putting that bad voodoo on me, Ricky Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got Steph Curry, you know what I'm saying? But he just went out with a shoulder injury. Um, but yeah, th- those those are my top five right now, man. Like in the league right. currently right now. I mean, as far as this year, I'm going with, I'm looking at stats and I'm looking at the records. Um, Luca is the only person on my list who's barely at 500 they're 14 and 14 at the moment but everybody else on my on my on my list i went about the stats they were kind of putting up as well as their record so that's how i got my five i mean joel and bead i think they're fifth in the east so you know i mean like i said right now that's what i'm rolling with all right all right all right so you got you got 
So I'm a, all right. I'll say it again. Order. In no particular order, you had you had Luca, Ja, Giannis, Jason, Tatum, and Joel Joel Embiid, right? Yeah. All right. All right. I mean, I I can't. It's, it's hard for me to argue about that. You know, it's not the same as my list. I'd say that, but. I can understand what you what, why you putting those guys up there. Like Ja, his team is number two, number two in the, in the, in the, in the West right now, behind yeah. somebody you left off the, that. And that he's list. on my he's on my list. Like he's <laughs> literally on my list. Like I got Zion on my list, bro. Like I, 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 hey, I we, we said we, we pre warned. I didn't. You're gonna have to leave people off that could be on there. I wanted to put Zion on there, but I, it's, ah, man, yeah, uh, but. Yeah. I mean, yeah. hey, MB, MB's MVP caliber. I mean, he's he should be on the list. But I I got I got some similar list to you. I got two people that you let obviously had on. I got them off, but they're right there in my honorable mentions, pretty much. I got some honorable mentions here. But I got I got Luca in no particular order here. I got Luca. He, lead, he lead, leading the league in scoring pretty much. Like he's he's absolutely he's he didn't come out the same as last season, Luca, beginning the season. Like he's coming out, he's on a mission and he yeah. going, they're dangerous. He's dangerous. Like, he's dangerous. Yeah. The team ain't. <laughs> the team, team is dangerous. <laughs> so, but I got I got Giannis also. Giannis, hey, you know, y'all know if you heard me before, I don't I don't think he's the greatest player on, on the planet Earth, but he is an absolute terror and the beast on the court. I think he's Trade the best up. player in the league right now, bro. Uh, I hate, I I hate, hate to say it. I, I, yeah. you know, the next guy I got on the list, Tatum. I, he's arguably the best player in the league right now, too. Yeah, most definitely. Like, he's up there till he till he play Golden State. But I'm with you. Yeah, so <laughs> those that's, those are the three we the same on. This is where I switched up. Okay. And even though he's in, he he just got injured recently. We're still waiting on. It's a it's a torn labrum in his shoulder. I, well, I. It, let me not say torn. It didn't say torn labor, but he's got a labor in, injury in his shoulder. Steph Curry for the mm-hmm. Golden State Warriors, the defending champions Golden State Warriors, the MVP of the playoffs, the MVP of the NBA All-Star game, MVP of everything, Mr. Steph Curry. Yeah. I got him on this list. I can't keep him off whether he's hurt or not. He does too much I... for that team. So he's on the list for me. And... Just keep banging the drums. Keep banging the drums for the New Orleans Pelicans. Zion, let's yeah. go. You are on my list. You, the league is on notice. Everybody's yeah. paying attention. In. The Pelicans, top number one, number one record in in the in the West. In the West, yeah. That's 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 saying a lot. You can't. That's see saying it. a lot. That's saying a lot down there and. He's doing the work. Somebody I left off the list. We both John Moran. I le- obviously left off, but he's right there with them. Number two with Memphis in the in the West. And B, yeah, he's putting up points. His team ain't doing the best. They're they're in the playing game pretty much right now. But nah, Philly's fifth in the league right now. I th- uh, in the in the East right now. They they're not in the playing. Nah, I don't know. Don't do that to Philly, man. I trust me. I don't care for Philly, but I, I thought they were a little better than that. Hold okay, on. you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. I misspoke, I misspoke. Jay, yeah, I apologize. I, I right. was going to say, man, like, damn, you're I could have right. sworn. Okay. Now, I, will, I will say this, they're like a game and a half out of the, out of the play in, so it's, it's not that far off. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, um, but somebody, somebody who ain't in the, ain't in the playing game right now, Cleveland Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell. Uh, yeah. Like, He's he's put that team on his back a lot, and he he had talent there. He got some other players, good, really good players there too. But Donovan yeah. Mitchell, he, I'm gonna throw another name. There. I'm gonna throw another name out here for you, and I know it's not popular because the team is kind of like bad. <laughs> but Shaq Gilgis Alexander, man, like I, I really, I, I know a lot of people. He doesn't get the TV coverage, the media coverage, man. This guy Shea Shea Gilgis Alexander, man, is a yeah. baller, SGA. bruh. He hoops. I am a true fan of this young man. He gets busy. He averages 31 points a game, um, like four, four point something, four point five assists a game. This guy gets busy. Oklahoma City, they got a young squad. They're not winning games, but they, they're right. making them tough on people. But he's a name that I hope to continue to see, man. I hope he gets an all-star nod. He probably won't because the West is just filled with guards. 
But like, I, I think he's one of those guys, man. Like, he he doesn't get the the, the notice, man. And I I want to take the time out to give him notice. I would have liked to put him on my top five, but like I said, you know, I kind of went based off the record and averages. But um, you know, shout out to Shea Gilgis Alexander, man. Hopefully, those guys when they get Chet Holmgren get Holmgren back, they can make some noise, but. Um, even, even KD, man, I, I left KD off, man. And KD and nobody's saying anything, but Brooklyn is 17 and 12 and KD's average is, you know, he, he's doing some things, putting up their average in 30. So, um, I KD left him off. My, he's, 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 he, he's what are we surprised? Squad. He was my number one pick in fantasy this year. I believe in you, KD. Yeah, man. So, he's so, I mean, he, he's definitely honorable mention, man, but, um, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I love Steph Curry too. I just hate that their record is just kind of subpar. It's under five hundred, but uh, he's yeah. definitely one of the, the the best players in this league. So, you know, I, yeah. I I love it, man. Like, I mean, you know, even Jokic, like he's averaging a, almost like, a triple double. We didn't even met, we didn't even mention the defending yeah. MVP. Of the yeah, MVP. you know, Nicola, you know, Joker, man, he's averaging almost a triple double right he, he now. He does it so. so quietly. He does it so quietly. He don't get the highlights. He don't get the notoriety or whatever. But his team is third in the West. Like, yeah, exactly. Behind Memphis, we, we apologize you know throwing shade at you right now, Joker. You know, but I, hey. And, it, and and now this year he's got Jamal Murray back, so hopefully we're gonna see that different Denver team. They got you know Aaron Gordon. Hopefully, M -P M uh, Michael Porter Jr. comes back and he's doing his thing. So you know they're gonna be sharp. So I mean, it's hard when you say top five. It, it, it's always gonna be players that that you can argue for and against. But you know, uh, right now as of today. I'm going with those five right now. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I ain't got no argument. If you're listening, bring this topic up. Bring it barbershop, your boys, whatever. See if you match hey. any of our guys. I guarantee you a couple of our guys are going to be on your list. If he ain't, I don't know what y'all smoking out that drink, but you. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, if, if you ain't got Giannis on your list, then you just don't need to even be in the discussion. I right. mean, point blank. I mean, Giannis should be in everybody. I feel like everybody's list at this point. Like, hey, we're gonna put it, we're gonna put this topic on the Facebook group so you get some, get some in, interaction out there, yeah, man. Um, uh, most definitely, man, because it's it's a debatable topic that only it, there's no winner, like, yeah, there's no, know. there's no wrong answers. Well, there, there's wrong answers, I guess you could say. <laughs> if you come out the blue, you know, <laughs> hey, check us out, man. D Man Cave Sports Group, man, hit us up, man. We going. We got everything you you need to know, man. Come holler at us. Add. We we'll send you the invite. Let us know, man. Holler at us. Name drop. Name drop there. Yes, sir. So, but now, yeah, man. Can't no arguments, man. I, I can't argue anybody on your list. You got it. Let's 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 keep talking NBA here. They had they had recent recent development. I say this is pretty 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 awesome. I and I don't know. I want to know if you agree with it or whatever. Also. But the NBA came out with not new awards. They did come out with one new award, actually. But he came out with new names for the awards. So now, MVP, MVP is now going to be known as the Michael Jordan Trophy. MVP of the league is now the Michael Jordan Trophy. We'll get to, get to each person individually, I guess. But let's, go, let's just hit the list real quick. Okay. Jerry West Trophy. As, let's, let's talk about the MVP Trophy. Let's, let's just stay okay. right there. All right, do you, all right. Do you, do you agree with the name choice for Michael Jordan Award? What do you think? Uh, all right. I'm not mad at it at all. I, okay, I am mad at the design. I thought the design of the trophy was kind of was, was kind of left. Like that shit was a little ugly to me, considering all right. like all the other like designs they had for the trophies. I mean, they could have just right. put the fucking MJ logo up there for all I care, but I, I, I can agree. I can agree with the MJ logo. I think, <laughs> I think that's, that would have got, that would have got like some trademark problems. Out yeah. There yeah. Yeah. Stuff. It would have been. Yeah. So, but I mean, that, that it's just that, that, yeah, that image was pretty ugly to me. He, um, he like Jordan so, just son the whole entire NBA. If he, if he becomes the NBA logo also, <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, they, they might as well change that too. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't mind the name changes of any of the awards, but I do think it's ironic or it's crazy that, um, not crazy, but MJ won five MVP awards, but you had somebody like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who won six. 
So, um, but I understand they called it the Michael Jordan Award because what most people consider MJ is the greatest player to play basketball. So yes, he, um, he is the GOAT. Right. He's so the they GOAT. named it after him. So the highest award, why not name it after MJ? So nah. I'm cool with it. I'm not mad at it. All right. Spe- uh, speaking on design, so we designed this award specifically to, ma- to give some shout outs to Michael Jordan, where yes, sir. it's 23.6 23. inches tall and weighs about 23.6 pounds. Represented Jordan's jersey number twenty three and number of championships six. Mm-hmm. But they, 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 they designed it for purposes here. It's five sided because of Jordan's five league MVPs. Right. Yeah. It's got a badge that is six sided and not a nod to Jordan's six rings. Six right. rings. Eh? Six. And it says fifteen degree angle. Whatever. Whatever. Fifteen season career. That ain't nothing much, but. Right, right. Crystal right. ball, crystal ball got twenty three points, Jordan's number, and then the crystal ball measures one point two three in diameter. In reference to the singularity of the MVP, he is the one. That's that's him. If you didn't know, number twenty three, Michael Jordan. Yes, sir. <laughs> there you go. One. He is the one. So yes, you made sir. it. You made. It. I agree that I don't like the design that much. It, but it had terrible. Reasons, the reason we made it that way, I guess. <laughs> we couldn't make it the other way, I guess. They couldn't make it. I mean, I'm not mad at the measurements. I'm not mad at any of that. But we couldn't get the measurements with, like, a better, like, stature. Like, him shooting yeah. a jumper or something. something. You like, know, palming yeah. the ball or something like that. Is I would, that what I would have liked to see the, the leg spread jumper or something. Like, yeah, you know, or, the, or the crossover, is, the crossover even. Or I guess is the is the is the thing with the 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 trophy of him like palming a ball like I, I don't know yeah, man arms that out any yeah, like, so, something that so many more terrible. memorable Jordan poses than this one particular yeah it's, ter- <laughs> it's fucking terrible man I do I do like I do like the, how they they renamed it Michael Jordan Award I mean it just has more meaning I guess. But does that mean they're going to have to rename it another 100 years or something? 75 years? I mean, like... I don't, I don't, I don't think they will. If they are, I, w- I probably won't be able to talk about it, argue it, you know? Nah, <laughs> not at all. It'll be some... It'll be somebody. But I mean, like... Avatar of me or something in the world, you know, the better yeah. universe. <laughs> but I mean, like, I, I'm not mad at it, man. Like, you know, we, we saw this last year when they renamed the MVP award in the All-Star game. Uh, to Kobe Bryant, they honored Kobe Bryant, the late great Kobe Bryant, with naming the MVP All Star Trophy after him. So I'm not mad about that. And then they got all, uh, you know, the Eastern Conference MVP and Western Conference MVP was named after Larry Bird and Mag- Magic Johnson. So I mean, I, I I'm not mad. They're giving, you know, that the, the NBA is showing their respects to the legends, and that's that's cool. I, I don't have a problem with that. I like it. I like it. So they should still change the logo, hopefully in the near future. That'd be dope too. But I don't know who, but that'd be dope. So that's the MVP award. Next one, we'll, we'll, we'll skip one here. Defensive Player of the Year is now called the Key Olajuwon Trophy. How you? What you, how, what you think of that one? Uh, again, man. Like. I... <sighs> I'm not mad at it. Like Hakeem, I think when people think of Hakeem, they think more offense because they think of the, the dream shape. I mean, um, he definitely is a two-time defensive player of the league, you know, so, but you had like Ben Wallace, the Kembe Matumbo, who won four mm-hmm. defensive player awards. So it's like, I'm not mad, but, you know, again, it's just ironic that the player that you named it after didn't have the most of that award. So, um, but it, it's cool. Elijah Wan is known, you know, if you don't know, you should look up his, look up his stats. Um, he, he's definitely a great defender or he was a, a great defender in this day and time. So again, I, I'm not mad at it at all. Like shout out to a King and I'm not mad at it. But when they said a King, I was like, I, I did kind of think of the dream shake, uh, shake. I didn't know right. him as much for his defense. I actually had to like go, go Google and look up some stats. Because obviously Elijah played a little bit before, you know, I really started watching basketball. So, um, and of course, he was playing when I was a little bit younger, when I really wasn't paying attention to stats. So, um, but yeah, I ain't mad at it. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he, he, he's 
the lead leader all time in block shots and ranks yeah. ninth in steals all time too. So as a center, as a center, as a center. So hey, I I but I, like here the key first thing that comes to me is his offense. You know, yeah, I, I agree with that. I 100 percent agree with that. But it just goes back to show how amazing the dream was. You know, he yeah hey, man, he's best awesome. best center, best center in my that I've watched. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So. Nine time All NBA defensive player selection also. So he he, yeah. he he was throwing on the court for a defender more than we but we like the for his offense. Everybody likes offense. Nobody enjoys defense, you know. Especially in no and, and well in that time, well, as we were coming up, like it was all about was, like defense was big a lot bigger part. Yeah, defense was a huge thing, but like you know, we were young. So we, we just knew blocks and like rebounds. We didn't, you know, nope. still, so I don't know. We're saying this trophy will never be renamed because nobody plays defense anymore. <laughs> Nobody's got to no. <laughs> Unless they name it after Ben Wallace or Matumbo, bro. Like right. that, that's it, man. That, oh, that's the only man. two I can think of. All right. Another, another big award that goes out, Rookie of the Year Award. Rookie of the Year Award is now going to be named the Wilt Chamberlain Award. Hey. Will Chamberlain, I mean, hey, you can't argue Will Who Chamberlain. Who you gonna argue with? Well, yeah, like, him, yeah, right? I mean, he, him and Wes Unsaw, the only two players to ever win Rookie of the Year and the MVP. So, yeah. it was going to one of them. And why no not go about that? No, hey, hey, can't argue that. Can't can't argue Will. I mean, you can't argue none of them for real, but, you know, I ain't mad. So, so. You know, you want what he averaged his rookie year? He averaged 37, 27 <laughs> for his rookie year. And he averaged 46 minutes played per game. Ain't nobody even averaging 46 minutes a game played now. Man. Like, this is what the players did back then. Averaging 37, 27. <laughs> but he was he was probably arguably the, the biggest man on the court though. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you gotta tell him, G, they ain't had no three-point line. So it wasn't like he was just shooting threes, like yep. he was he was just he was putting in work, fights. putting yeah. in work in the paint and off the feet. court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knocks him down, knocks him down. Yes, sir. On and off the court. All right. Hey, next thing, sixth man of the year award. John Havlicek. John Havlicek award is going to be the uh, six man of the year award. Uh, this is, I, I will say this was one of the guys that I thought could have been left off the 75 team. I know we brought that up. He was one name that I, that. Yeah. Me, I, I, I would have. You, you, you know, there's a six man. So I, I'm thinking if you, if you were best 75, you ain't coming off the bench. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. But he must have been a hell of a good. I mean, they named it after him. You know why they named it after him? Uh, he definitely. I, I don't. Well, I'm trying to look up. Let me. Let me hear you. He was the first player known to come off the bench. That's the reason why. <laughs> the first player known to come off the bench. Man, I would have liked to seen this award. I mean, I know he's not a considered a legend but i think he's definitely a, a legend regardless man like jamal crawford man like i mean jamal yeah. crawford you can even i mean say lou will but i would say jamal crawford just because that's like what jamal crawford was known for but I, I get it you know he's not that far removed from the game you know so they wanted to go and reach back i mean john what's my have jack yeah. They didn't even have this, you know, award around when he played. So, I mean, he right. only got it because he was known to be the first player off the bench. But, I don't know. He got, he got, he got, some, he got some good stats about NBA stuff and everything, you know. He, he cool. is a, but, I, hey, I, I'm not arguing with, with Jamal Crawford or Lou Williams. And yeah, he, was, I mean, he might just went, come, back out, come back and win with this year. No. I mean, but then, but then again, that's just who we know. I mean, like our our, our parents exactly. and, and and other, they might be like, "Oh yeah, like yeah, he was that, he was the man when he was playing," you know. So I can I, I'm not gonna argue it because I wasn't there to see him play. So he next, got next next award we bring up is the most improved player of the year award, which last year was Ja. So I mean, that was that was that was a little, that was weird. Him being most improved, I felt that was like a slap. Like, yeah, you ain't getting MVP, but we'll give you this. You know? Yeah, and he actually gave it to Desmond Bain. <laughs> like, yeah. 
So <laughs> it's, it's now renamed the George Mikan Award. George Mikan Award, who is also known for the Mike and Drill. If you've ever played hey. basketball or practiced basketball in your past, it's one of the one of the big drills that you should all be doing at some point in your life if you want to actually be pretty good at basketball. True indeed. True indeed. True indeed. Um, again, man, I, I you know, you know, by the time he retired, you know, this 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 award hadn't really been in existence. But you know, I mean, like, I don't think it's uh, a person that you could be like, you can really name it after. So I'm not, again, I'm not mad at it. I mean, you can't be, you know, you win that award once a year. It's like, you know, one time, you know, so it's like rookie of the year. So I'm not mad at it. You know, honor the greats, the veterans. I'm not, I, I don't have anybody who I could argue that one with. So yeah, like they're, they're, they're saying they, they gave it to him because he's helped improve the game for everybody that okay. everybody else's game too by the Mike and Drill. That's what he's famous for, being able to just lay up, lay up from there, lay up from there. So he's legendary right. for providing generations of basketball players See? The tools they needed to be cut to improve their game. So, All right. I can't know. argue that. That's the, you know, right. for the love of the game. That's not bad. Not bad, the NBA. You, you, you got, you got, you picked you pick a good name for that one. With, with, yeah. with your description, at least. Yeah, exactly. Now, New award, new award. I, I like, I like this kind of award. I like this kind of. Award. It's supposed to be NBA Clutch Player of the Year. We, we've never given out this award before, right? Not at all. Okay, just making sure, making sure my my, my numbers are right. But it is going it. to now be called. So that's funny how they're going to recall it, even though we've never had this award, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to recall weird. something we've never had. Love it. Yeah. Keep going. But it's going to be known as the Jerry West Trophy. The Jerry West Trophy. Yes, sir. What do you think about that? What do you think about that new Clutch Player of the Year? And any predictions who could win this award? It's, this was definitely driven by the media. Right? Um, definitely driven by the media. Matter of fact, that, that's, media that's actually who, who they're going to be votes. voting. Media yeah. gets to vote and from other head coaches. So, yeah, that will be interesting. It's, so I mean, it, it's definitely media driven because everybody's like, "Oh, you're not clutch. You 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 don't clutch this, clutch that, clutch this." So, um, it's interesting. It's definitely going to be de- be debatable. I, I mean, um, I it sh- it should be interesting. I mean, I think players like Dame could win it. You know what I'm saying? Who who come up with clutch shots? Um, you know. Uh, a, a guy that I mentioned earlier, Shea Gilgis Alexander. He, he's a pretty clutch young man. Um, you know, so it, it should be fun to watch to see who who wins the first one uh, this yep. year. Um, so, so the, I, I'm yeah, not yeah. mad at it. You said you said Dame Lillard might be your choice. Um, if he gets if if he stays healthy, I, I definitely think that. I mean, he just hit a clutch shot the other day. Um, um, so, so I mean, he's known for hitting clutch shots. I mean. You know, Steph, Steph Curry, you know what I'm saying? You can never forget yeah. Steph. Um, so you you got a few good players that are, are in that moment that can hit game-winning clutch moment shots. So um, I'm not mad at the award, but I I know I knew it was definitely driven from the media because that's all oh, they yeah. talk about. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see who gets that. I th- I, th- I think the player is gonna embrace this award too for sure. Like it's 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 a cool award to have being the clutch yeah. player of the year, like. You all go around here. Yeah, Ice I'm cold clutch. Ice cold yeah. thing. Hey, that's not a guy. That's not a bad guy. Trey Young. Yeah, Trey. Trey, Young can, be in there. Trey can be in there. Definitely that's trigger it. Trey can be in there. Trey yeah. can be in there. I got um, I got I got Luca up in up in the running for Luka me. Luca can be in there. Yeah. And I got, you know, the DeMar DeRozan. He's I seen him do it a couple times to my our wizards a couple of times. Yeah, man. DeMar. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah, it is. I mean, shit, you can even throw. I mean, he's missed quite a few lately, but you KD, I mean, in, any of these yeah. guys, man. Any anybody who's got a consistent jump shot, and, you know, is not afraid of that moment. I think that's what it comes down to. I'm I'm interested to see who wins it. I think it, I think it'll be fun to watch. Hey, we'll oh, talk yeah. about tomorrow as the year goes on. That's for sure. We still got some more NBA. So I wonder, do they go like, well, Dame hit five clutch shots, and you know, Luca hit six clutch shots. Like, I'm, I'm, inter- right. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm interested. How are you gonna you start? Know? This stats obviously gonna start building over time somehow or another. 
Like game winners. Yeah. This is gonna be in everybody's stats. Yeah. <laughs> How many most games definitely you average? Hey, I wouldn't be surprised if they if they start putting that. I did. I haven't got two K twenty three yet, so I, I I could be wrong. But they they start putting that. Um, you know, kind of like as a attribute. You know, as a player. Oh, he, you know what I'm saying? I, I think I'm pretty sure they do got the clutch right as 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 an attribute for that. Job. I know they. I think they had it as a badge, but like game. I don't know. Like I think that'd be dope too. But I don't know. They probably already got it though. Hey, our yeah. producer. You know, Mike T. Mike T. is a 2020. 20, 20, NBA 2K legend out there, as they say. So he, hey. we'll, we'll get clarification that after the show, definitely. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Sure. But yeah, but, I'm not mad at it, man. Jerry West got the trophy and he got the NBA logo, so you know, um, you know, it's nothing wrong with renaming and reimaging. You know, doing the names. All of the all of the trophies look good except for the MVP award. In my view, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, y'all look, they're, they're basically all the same, just different player poses, pretty much. Yeah, but so, all the other awards, but the NBA got a little bit more to worry about than just renaming the awards. But the, you know, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah. No beef, no dice. <laughs> Switching so. over, passing the ball in, a, in another time, in another field of field of play. We got the NFL week 14 just ah. went down. Hey, shout out to IOW Sports. Mr. Wild Wild Card Wild Card Mod there. Jay was Jay Jay already ha- did a whole recap of Week 14 on Monday on the on their network on the on the podcast. So yeah. I I don't need me to make you sp- spit the same stuff or whatever. Nah, man, you know I, I, I still how was, how was a Wild Card Mod there. It was it was cool, man. It was definitely a great experience, man. Um, y'all be sure to check those guys out. Um, they drop uh, Mondays and Thursdays, and you can catch them live on Facebook as well um, on the IOW Sports Network. But um, it was great yeah, shopping need, it up with them. Li- need to join, they joined straight live, right? Yeah, it was live. Um, we had, um, you know, viewers that were asking questions as we were, you know, podcasting. So it was definitely a dope time. Um, my audio was a little off for whatever reason, but I got to check on that as well. But um, I, I had a great time, man, and uh, and I definitely hope to come back and, and kick it not um, with his other podcast partners as well, and definitely have you, you know, alongside with me, and as we all kind of just chop it up and just and just kick it. So, but it was it was a great time. It, it was fun. We definitely had fun. Most definitely. All right. All right. Yeah. Hey, I wish I could make it. I trolled you, trolled you all a little bit on there. Do, do. Yeah, there were some questions out there interacting with y'all, you know. Yeah, yeah, I nah. Hey, for you guys. It was cool, man. Oh, yeah. It was cool. We appreciated it, man. It was definitely dope, man. So shout out to to IOW Sports, Wildcard Mar. Y'all check out episode 206. Your boys on there. So holla at me. Episode 206. They way ahead of us. They way ahead of us out there, right? We ain't Look far behind, but you way ahead of us. Yeah, in due time, in due time. So and y'all can join look at their they got us a uh, Facebook sports group as well. So y'all be sure to check both of our sports group out. All right. So, so have having you repeat a little bit of stuff you talked about over there. Who what, what game stood out to you for this past week, week 14? What games did you like? Or made a difference, kind of thing in the league that we talked about playoff wise, maybe. Well, I'm uh, I'm not gonna talk about my team right now, <laughs> but <laughs> Carolina and Seattle um, was definitely a game that kind of I think if you were gambling, that kind of kind of took some took some of your money because I definitely thought Seattle was gonna win that game. You couldn't have told me Carolina was gonna come in Seattle and get that win, but they did. So um, shout out to them. Um, uh, I called the Lions game. The Lion. I, I called the Lions beating the Vikings, um, which is another yeah, reason I, was, I think I was on the opposite end of that. You did yeah, call that, um, which is another reason why I think we both feel so strong about Detroit sneaking into the playoffs. Yeah. So um, that game, the Jets game, um, the Jets and Bills game. I, I don't know. The Bills, man. I, I don't. I don't know. I've got some questions with them. I, you know, Josh Allen doesn't really seem like he's, he seems like he's just managing the game at this point. Like he doesn't, he's not winning it, but like they kind of told him to chill. Cause yeah, um, I, you know. A couple of weeks ago, they were, they were mentioning something during the broadcast. I know Tony Romo was definitely picking up on it. It was uh, like, like a pitcher's injury he had to his arm. I want to say UCL or something. And he didn't never confirmed it was injured, injured. 
but he was t- he was talking about how he's he's not he's he can't throw the ball like that. So his arm might be a little little cold, cold arm as he say or whatever, you know. Oh, so shit. if that's the case, it could, it, it could, it could be trouble, trouble, for them. trouble, trouble. Um, and the Chargers and the Dolphins game, uh, you know, two of, and those guys lost, you know, lost again. Um, Justin Herbert showed out. Of course, we got them coming this week. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. And, of course, we kind of spoke about it as well with Kyler Murray went went down Monday night, which you kind of hated to see. But, um, yeah, yeah those, those are the games. And, of course, my Bamba Man team lost uh, to, to Jacksonville against, um, you know, Trevor Lawrence had him a day. So, yeah, those, those are the games. Evan Ingram had him a day. Oh, and <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hold up, say that again. <laughs> Evan, Evan Ingram had him a day. Yeah, man. Uh, shit, the whole offense did. Jeez. And y'all, man, y'all. I, I, I was, I, I was. That was yeah, I, I was, I wasn't gonna bring that game up. I just wasn't. I didn't want people to think about it, talk about it, you know, wins a win and win is a win. As I see it, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not mad. I, I'm not mad at it, man. Um, yeah, you know, we, we kind of yeah, we had a really close one against them Texans for the Battle of Texas type. <laughs> so yeah, it was we put up a good to... fight, and we we tried our best to give it to them. Yeah, but... yeah. Hey, as long as y'all went out with got the W, man, that, that's all that matters, man. Yeah, that was so... that was that was a nail biter over there. But I I agree with you, Chargers over Dolphins, and that's one of the reasons why I got I got the Chargers sneaking in. That well, too, both of us man. got them sneaking in. So he made yeah. he made a, a point known that hey. We put we our offense back to full strength now. Y'all better y'all better be be wild, be careful. We've been all we see has been hurt all year, so we back. They about that life, yeah. yeah. And they was still and they was they was missing Derwin James, you know, which is why I thought yeah. Tua would have had a better game than what he did. But uh, you know, I feel like they're always missing Derwin James, unfortunately. I know. I, I hope he's missing this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another game you touched on briefly: Lions over the Vikings. I like. That was a that was a big game. We, Lions put on a show, 34-23. That's that's a that's a division game. That gives them the confidence they need because the Vikings are supposed to be one of the best in the NFC, you know. Man. And Kirk Cousins put up numbers, man. Kirk, Kirk, if you look at Kirk Cousins' stats, he threw for like three, three, three hundred something yards, four hundred yeah, yards, something. Four hundred. Yeah, two touchdowns. You look at his numbers, you're like, well, how the fuck did they lose? Yep. So. But yeah, wow. Justin Jefferson had him a day with like two hundred and twenty some yards. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Minnesota, man. I, I'm worried right. about them. I'm I'm worried about them as they get into the playoffs, man. I'm worried. Yep. Hey, I said I said earlier they're one of my sleeper super super Bowl picks, but their defense is just shitty. It, they can if you if you just gonna let everybody just walk down the field on you, it don't work that well in the playoffs. I tell you that. Somebody that Battle. in the playoffs, the only team in the NFL with with the playoffs got locked in, the Philadelphia fucking Eagles they over the Giants. We, they just didn't beat the Giants. They took them to town, bent them over, beat the, took the lunch money, whatever you want to say. Smacked them, smacked them around, threw them in the yeah. dirt, <laughs> stepped on yep. their head, got yeah. them up out of there, did what they were supposed to do. Yep. So don't play with, they, they don't play with the food. They let they let everybody know, like, hey, we number one. This is a playoff team. We we took them down pretty easily. Yes, sir. So, yeah, man. We, hey, my boys gonna see him soon. Michael Parsons was talking. He was talking. I was gonna say that, man. I, man, he, he got to write. He, 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 he said, really "Is said, it hurts or is it the system?" Yeah, he was, oh. he was thinking it's a shot. I don't like. I don't like it. And see. Michael Parsons don't come, I, I, I come off that guy like he's going to be throwing shots in the media like that. So I think somebody somebody caught him off guard there, I think, because I, I like Michael Parsons on and off the yeah. field. But, hey, you give a chance for this boy to back it up, you know? Ooh. Michael Parsons, hey, we got he's got the squad. We got a defense. Let's see. You going to talk that talk? Hey, be about that walk, Michael Parsons. I love hey. it. Hey. Walk the walk and talk the talk. Hey. That's a whole other level on the football. He know piece, he, he know he got to. He can't he can't put that out there. And... Now we just need our offense to cut, pack him up too. You know, it's, it's a, a two way game for us. Two way game, baby. Yeah. Two way game. But yeah, yeah man. that was that was definitely a y'all, shot. Y'all play him next week, not this week. The following yeah. week. Following week. So, 
That'll be yes, a big. Sir. We'll have have everybody we had that we didn't have last time. So it'll be interesting. That's for sure. Yes, sir. Week fifteen though. Week fifteen is here. Mm-hmm. Right now we're in the middle of third quarter, pretty much. 49ers up on the Seahawks 21 to 6. So this game's looking like a wrap, knowing how the 49ers defense is. Yeah. But what are the, what are the, any other games you looking for this this not Sunday, but Saturday as well? We got three games on Saturday and the rest on Sunday. What you looking for this weekend? Uh, of course. So one of the Saturday games, I think we mentioned two of them. Um, the Ravens and the Browns. Um, that's going to be huge as we spoke about play, trying to get into the playoffs. Uh, the Dolphins and the Bills, because um, the Dolphins have kind of, they've kind of spiraled downwards. So they're going up to Buffalo. Um, Miami beat them the first game. So um, we all know that's when Tua had that, you know, that unfortunate injury yeah. or the start of it. Um, so Bills, Dolphins, um, who else? Uh, of course, the Commanders and the Giants. Uh, we spoke on that. Whoever wins that game, we both think we'll get into the playoffs. Uh, and that's really that's that's really really it for me. Okay. Uh, the Lions and the Jets. I think that's a really huge huge game as well. Yep. Hey, hey, I'm piggyback on that. They're on my list. Lions and Jets. We are talking playoff implications. Lions, yeah. Jets, playoff implications in the same fucking sentence. This is 2022, 23. <laughs> like, how is this happening? This is crazy. Hey, man, <laughs> it, it took them a while, but they hit. It took them quite a few losing seasons and some changes. It, hey, but the it, thing is, they, they, they got young talent on both these teams. Like, yeah, we're talking about them this year, but we could be talking about them for the next couple of years yeah, as well. Yeah. Like, you've got... And, Young talent on both of these squads. And if you watched Hard Knocks with the Detroit Lions, like they got a really good coaching staff as well. I, I, um, I, I, yeah, that's one thing I, I would 100% agree on you. Dan Campbell at the Lions and Robert Sala at the Jets. I mean, I love those coaches for real. Like, who, yeah. who don't you want to play for those guys? Right. And I mean, you got Deuce Staley. And, and, and Aaron Glenn is the offense and defensive coordinators, and and they do and do Staley is, is they're both hilarious. But yeah, so it, it's it's gonna be fun. And of course, I mean, I I don't really think it's gonna be too much of a game. But you know, my my boys play play the Chargers, which both teams are seven and six, which yep. is. I got the, I got gonna, see I got them on my list. I respect I respect y'all squad. You know, y'all yeah, it's just playoffs. because it's the no, you respect it because of the record. You don't respect <laughs> it because of the play on the field. Like, <laughs> god man, hey, but that's what the Titans do. Y'all be having some records, I feel like. Yeah, well, like, we just y'all had be undercover, like, oh snap, Tennessee got one of the better records in the AFC. Yeah, the it, it, it was not this, not this year. Like it, it it was for a while, but everybody blames our division, but like. This year, man, like, I, I again, Tennessee, prove me wrong. I would love for y'all to prove me wrong. And the best way to prove me wrong is to win the rest of these four games straight or win three out of the four of these games straight. That's how you prove me wrong. Don't get in there. Don't get into the playoffs because other teams lost. Get in there because y'all won and, you know, dominated who y'all needed to dominate. So yeah. prove me wrong. Yeah. That's how I feel. Other, other one game I got on here. Which is which is actually a, a Sunday game, Sunday game. But the other ones we talk about is, is also, I got the Bengals and the Bucks. I got the Bengals and the Bucks, and this is mm. the start of the downfall for the Bengals team. <laughs> <laughs> All works out as planned. Hey, geez, the Bengals not are letting up. <laughs> hey, man, it, yeah, he letting I'm not up. A hater, I'm not a hater. <laughs> hey, hilarious, yeah, hilarious. <laughs> No, nah, but I, I think I think Tom Brady and the Bucks. This is where, this is where I, I start to get worried about them be, with my team in the NFC. Like, I'm sorry to say, but it's Tom Brady and he's got a team behind him that got some pretty good players out on there too as well. Like, it could be dangerous when it comes to playoffs. And well, this is my only fear with Tom Brady. His offensive line is is not as as good. He's got a lot of offensive linemen missing. Yeah, and Cincinnati's defense is really physical. Like they're not known for their defense because they're often they don't have any like notable players, but they play physical and they can they physical and they're fast. 
You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't, when you say Cincinnati, they don't look at their defense, but their defense is a problem. And that's what makes them difficult to beat because their offense is good and their defense. So not saying that Tom Brady and the Bucks can't beat them, but that's why I just, because you my man, I'm, I'm, I hope it works out. You know what I'm saying? I, I hope it works out. Hey, it's okay. You don't got to agree with me. I'm, I'm cool. I don't matter. Well, I don't. I mean, I got the Bengals winning the division, so. Yep. <laughs> so. so. All right. Well, that, that wraps it. That wraps us up for the NFL or whatever, you know. But, hey, that in this legal Maryland. What, what bets you got for this week? What any parlays you like or anything like that? Let me hear. All right, G. You're going to be mad at me, G. Oh, man. So, I got. I got the um I got the Jaguars beating y'all this week, man. Shoot. I got the Jaguars you're not the, only, you're not the only one. I got Maybe the Jaguars. Not. That's my that's my upset of pick of the week. Um, okay. Who else do I have? Uh that's really it. Um for, for the most part. That that's just I'm just riding riding with that one. Oh, and I got the Lions winning, man. I got the I'm going right. with the with the Jaguars and the Lions as my picks this week. Uh, yeah, I got I, hey, that game. That game is even. That's a pick 'em game. Jets and Lions. I went I went Jets. That's that's my pick for that one. We, we're okay. going, up, going up against each other. Last week you you, you got it right. You you went you went with the Lions over the Vikings. So yeah. let's see let's see which one which way this swings this week. You know? Yeah, boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Paul. You gotta slow down, G. Slow down. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like my other one. Other one I like um, Patri- Patriots at the Raiders. Actually, I like the Patriots. They're, I guess, underdog. They're, they're, lay, they're giving up a point. Well, they're getting the point. The Patriots are so I like I like them. Um, the other one, I mean, you know, I, I'm gonna go against Jay again. I got the Cowboys covering four points. Cowboys covering four points. Now, trust me. I'm not mad if y'all win. We make it personal. By all means, I'm not mad if y'all win because I need y'all to win. But yeah, I, I got y'all. I got y'all taking that, taking that L. Unfortunately, but hey, I'm, I be rooting for y'all. <laughs> hey, I, I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. So um, I mean, let's let's talk. Let's switch it on. We got we got fantasy playoffs for anybody who is part of fantasy football, anything like that. Most leagues ended last week. Fantasy playoffs are starting this week. This is where it gets hot. This is where its money is. This is what it's all about. I'm in two. And we, me, and you are not in our podcast league playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 talk about that. Is it is it because we're Do not we have good? to? <laughs> <Do> we, uh, <laughs> we, we, no, uh, we really don't have to talk about this, but we brought it up a little bit. Yeah, nah, <laughs> it, it was it was an interesting season. It's definitely fun. Um, we, we, we uh, mentioned, I guess, I guess we'll replace whoever is in last place. Uh, we'll bring in wild card Mar and, and have him in next, yep, next we year. We, we offer that to him. He's, he's, he is not the replacement, but he is the new, the new 12 team in the league. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it, it's interesting, man. It, it, the chips didn't, didn't fall away. I thought it would. I still feel like my team should be in the playoffs, but you know, um, I, I, my quarterback play, I, I think I made the switch a little too late. Um, Trevor Lawrence, I, I didn't expect for him to have like, to, to, yeah, I, sh- I should have ke- kept him on my, on my team. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, oh, you were the one to let him go. I appreciate yeah. that. But I, I didn't think that he was going to have the season that he had, that he's having. And I definitely didn't think Tom, I, I shouldn't say I didn't think Tom Brady was going to have the season he was going to have, but I thought he would have been better. But um, and then my, my running backs kind of went stale. Derrick Henry and Nick Chubb kind of like went absent for like three or four weeks. So, um, with, with that being said, I'm I'm on the outside looking in. Well, I will I will say for my team, I had the most points in the entire league scored against me. It was <laughs> you you were second. You were second. You were second. Uh, so uh, like, every every team we played, they, they knew they had to bring their A game in. God yeah. damn, their A game showed up against us every freaking week. Every fucking week. Every week. <laughs> like it's not even funny. Yeah, like, like, like I Jay, told Jay, you are you are you are you're in the top like five five of five of scoring in the league. So you really had a bad year. Like you had really had a bad luck year. That's what comes that 
fantasy football is about 70, 60, 60%, 70% luck, 30% skill. And yeah. I, I'm in way too many leagues right now to, t- to even remember for some of these joints, but I am in some playoffs as well. How are you in yeah, some playoffs? I'm in two. I'm in two playoffs, two hey, playoff leagues. They ain't in my league. I wish you well. I wish you luck. I wish your players ball the hell out and bring home the chip, you know? Yeah, man. So it, it, I'm interested to see. It's a few good teams in our league um, that have a chance. You know, what, what a coincidence if they don't show up this week, but they showed up last week and, and the weeks that they played us, G. Like, what a, what a fucking coincidence, right? You got to yeah. love it, man. So it's crazy. Um, you know, it's we'll see. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to bring home some 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 gold in, in my other two leagues. So we're going to see. I got Josh Allen in both of them. So I, I'm debating on what I should do with him. So we're yeah. going to see. I mean, I, I mean, you can't you can't sit Josh Allen. I feel like shit. If his ass he's got an injury, I can. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. If he's an injury, it's an injury. I understand that. One, yeah, la- one last me- thing. One last thing before we go on. We got this celebration bowl coming on on Saturday. By the same time our show comes out on Saturday, so give a shout out Jackson State and versus North Carolina yeah. Central. So yeah, I man. Guys- I just seen that Jackson State or Coach Prime actually has a um a docu series I believe that's going to be premiering uh I want to say December twenty eighth on on Amazon so that should be definitely an interesting look I'm gonna be interested um I'm gonna be taking a look at that um Jackson State is definitely favored in this celebration bowl um I know you know his mantra was you know keep the main thing the main thing so um you know. We'll be rooting for Coach Prime, and um, it'll be he is, he is coaching there, right? For the for the joint. As far as 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 far as I know of, I haven't heard. I mean, obviously, if he wasn't, I think that should be all over the all league, over the but, league, right? Yeah, but I, I think he's I think he's good to go. I mean, the the, the players, um, they they all want him to coach. Um, you know, they they all respect and appreciate what he did for Jackson State. And um, Jackson State, if y'all haven't known, they did just hire a new coach. Um, if TC, I want to say TC Taylor, I believe was his name. Yep. Um, which, yeah, they they just hired him as well. So um, he was on the coaching staff with Coach Prime. So they just introduced that the other day as well too. So um, you know, we you know, like I said, like we said before, man, we we don't stop, you know watching them and supporting them just because of the coach left. But, you know, you know, keep an eye on them. Most definitely there. So um, I believe he's alumni there as well as Mike is telling us. So, but, um, so shout out Jackson state, shout out uh, North Carolina central should be a good game. Y'all be sure to check that thing going out. And uh, yeah, man, check out that docu series too, man. I'm, I'm going to check that out myself. Hey, check us out on Facebook group, you know. Definitely D-Bank do that. Players Sports Podcast. Tell us about you, top five NBA players in the league this year. Who, who you got? Who you kicking off, man? That's what that's that's what we want to see. Who's off the list? That's that's what I'm about, you know? Yeah, man. But, hey, all tell y'all, us who y'all think y'all going to the playoffs, too, man. Yep. <laughs> Shoot. For all y'all, you, hey, check us out. We're on the Man K Sports Podcast. Sports group right there, 613 Fate Productions, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Subscribe, like, comment, something. Yes. Interact. We bought it. We bought it. All right? Hey. Yes, sir. Good luck in y'all's fantasy playoffs. You can find, find me at G Money K Man Twitter. Tell me where you find you at, Jay. Hey, man. Jay Jones. On all social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, IG, TikTok. Um, thank you for all the listeners, all our um, supporters who like, you know, drop comments and stuff, you know, interact with us on the on a, uh, sports group as well, man. We, we definitely appreciate it. Thank you to all of everybody who was in our fantasy football league our first year. Um, shout out to G for running and being a commissioner of our fantasy football league, man. Um, I know I still owe my debt, so that's coming yeah. after the show. <laughs> yeah. Anybody's so. in the past ain't paying, I'm replacing <laughs> you with my team. Yeah, so 
but uh definitely shout out to g for that man and, and we appreciate it most definitely man and again man like share subscribe um holla at us man again man check our brothers out in the four corners of wrestling podcast as well um marshall uh mel quavo j will mike you know check them out you know as well as we got some some other stuff going on at 613 mm-hmm. dropping in the new year that we'll promote as well so Holla at us, man. Shantae with facts. Shantae with yeah, facts. Sha- yeah. She's one of the league leaders in our in our league. Only female yeah. in, the, in the league. Shout out to her. She had a fucking perfect game damn near against me. <laughs> God damn it. She dropped 158. I dropped 142. But whatever. Uh, yeah. Yes. All right. So, hey, we out, y'all. Peace. Be easy. Close the door on the edge. <laughs>